This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey everyone, Sarah Hanlon here with the iPhoneAppReview.com, and today we're taking a look at Digit Dash, which is a pretty fun game. It's basically a math game that's almost like Bejeweled, except you're adding numbers to eliminate blocks and earn points. It's free to download on the App Store, and it has quite a few positive ratings, so it's definitely a fun game to play. What we're going to do is I'm going to go through it really quick just to show you what it's all about. So what we're looking at is the main screen of Digit Dash. This is where you can play various game types such as time-based and turn-based really quick. As I mentioned before, Digit Dash is somewhat similar to Bejeweled. If you've played games like Bejeweled Blitz, um, you're familiar with the daily slot that shows up every time, every 24 hours, where you spin it and you get a certain amount of coins. This is the exact same way, except you get, an assert, you get a certain amount of gems that can be used for um, buying power-ups for each game. And if you want, you can always buy extra spins if uh, you, know, you run out of your daily spin, yet you want to keep earning coins. So what we'll do is, really quick, I'll show you a time game. Up here are your ruby hearts. It costs one ruby heart to play a game. So every time you start a new game, let's say a timed game, it'll cost you one heart. And you can accumulate these over time, or you can go to the store and you can buy more hearts through an in-app purchase. Okay, so this is where we can choose our boosts. You can see here are all of our gems that we can spend on boosts. And there are quite a few boosts that you can buy. Each game, you can have up to three boosts unless you purchase a fourth slot. So we'll go ahead and click Start. And basically, what the game does is up here it gives you a number to add to. And all you have to do is choose from the numbers on the board to add uh, to that number. So we'll do really quick. We'll do 9 and 4. You can see it's 13. We'll do 7 and 7. Just to show you really quick. And up here in the top right corner, your score is calculated. You can also see if you have boosts that require you to actually touch them to use them, they're up here. Also, your timer's down here. You can pause your game. You can change settings such as sound effects and background music. So we go back to the main menu. Oh, there we go. There's our zoom. It's a pretty fun game to play. It's very simple and straightforward, which is always nice. And the timed games last 60 seconds, unless you have boosts on. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back to the main menu. After playing that game, you can see we lost a ruby heart, so we're down to five. I had six before. Now I'm going to show you turn-based, which also uses boosts, but this is... These are a different set of boosts. They're catered more toward this style. So we'll go ahead and start without them. And what this is, is instead of it being timed, it's strictly turn-based. So you can see down here at the bottom, you have 19 turns left. And you can use boosts to change that um, if you want to add more turns. But the concept is the same. Your number's up here, and you use you know, the numbers on the board to add to that number. And as you do better, as you progress, the numbers get higher and higher to add to, which is nice. I like the fact that it gets difficult as you continue. That's really about it as far as gameplay for Digit Dash. It's a really, really fun game to play. I, I love it. I'm a glutton for uh, educational games, though especially ones that can be fun and that don't seem very educational right up front. Another thing I wanted to show real quick is the My Character screen. This is where you can see your level. 
There's also something that I really like. You can keep track of high scores on leaderboards. You can also keep track of badges you've earned, so basically achievements, and you'll get bonuses for each badge that uh, you earn through gameplay, which is always nice. I like having something to strive for in a game, and Digidash is also Game Center enabled, which is always definitely a plus. One of the things I do wish, though, is I wish it wasn't strictly you know, addition problems. I wish you could set up subtraction, multiplication, division, that sort of thing. But I'm sure with future updates, that'll probably be possible. Other than that, Digit Dash is free to download, and I definitely encourage you to do so. No ads or any you know, annoying pop-ups like that or anything. Nothing that'll get in your way. It's extremely fun to play and it's great to help you keep your brain sharp without you know being boring. This has been Sarah Hanlon with the iPhoneAppReview.com taking a look at Digit Dash. Till next time.